Hi, this is Walt Mossberg, personal technology columnist for the Wall Street Journal. And this week, I want to talk to you about how Wi-Fi is about to invade one of the last refuges where it's not available, and that's your car. You can obviously get Wi-Fi in your home, your office, coffee shops, airports, and now even some commercial airliners. But it hasn't been available inside automobiles and trucks until now. A small company in the San Francisco area called AutoNet Mobile has devised a service and some technology that will flood the interior of a car or truck with Wi-Fi that can be used just like any other Wi-Fi on a laptop or on a smartphone if that smartphone is Wi-Fi capable. Um, it requires you to buy a special Wi-Fi router that mounts in the trunk or uh, rear cargo area of your car. kind of looks like a military device because it's ruggedized and shielded. And um, that router sucks in the internet uh, connection from cell phone towers uh, as you drive and then converts it to Wi-Fi, which everyone in the car can use except hopefully the driver, uh, everyone who has a laptop that is equipped with Wi-Fi, which is almost all laptops, or something like a Blackberry or an iPhone or an iPod Touch that has Wi-Fi in it, uh, or even uh, a, handheld, a handheld game console like a, a Sony uh, PSP. Um, and you don't need any special software, you don't need any special hardware on your devices and uh, you can just connect to the internet, do email, web surfing, play games, do IM, and so forth. Uh, now, I've been testing uh, AutoNet Mobile's system in the Washington, D.C. area, both uh, in the city and in the suburbs, and I found that it works fine for uh, average stuff like email and instant messaging and general web surfing. But I also found that it was too slow, really, for any serious uh, streaming of video. So you're not going to be able to keep the kids in the back seat occupied with long movies uh, using this system. It works okay with Wi-Fi clips, but if you try to watch, say, a TV show or something like that, it's just too slow. Uh, in my tests, it uh, averaged around 400 to 450 kilobits per second in speed, and, and that's much slower than your home cable modem uh, will deliver. Uh, there's uh, uh, good and bad news on, on price. Um, uh, it costs uh, as little as $29 a month, uh, which is much cheaper than the cost of a cellular data modem for even a single laptop. And remember that $29 is going to be uh, one price for every device in the car, whereas the cellular data modem price typically applies only to one laptop. Uh, at a time. Uh, but the bad news is that for that price, you only get one gigabyte of data a month. Uh, there's also a $59 plan that gets you five gigabytes, and for some heavy users, that might not be enough. The other issue is that uh, you have to pay for the router. The router costs uh, $500 right now, although uh, there is a holiday price promotion about to take effect, which will knock $100 off that. So uh, uh, AutoNet Mobile works. It does provide uh, simultaneous uh, Wi-Fi for one uh, price to uh, everyone with every device uh, in a car, uh, but it's slow and uh, you got to uh, lay out some money for that router. And uh, it does provide yet another potential distraction for the driver of a car in a connected world. Uh, this is Walt Mossberg, and I'll see you next week.